It's strange in the desert. And this is emotional. We're sharing our network of emotional devotions and ascribing to the Lord to hear what He might say to you and to me and what He might do in our lives as we commit ourselves to Him day by day, walking with Him, seeking to hear His voice, seeking to know Him in a more intimate and personal way, in a way that He said we could hear His voice and not follow another. And I think in a world that has so many voices that are shouting at us to listen to them, whether it be television or iPods or any technology item or our neighbors or our friends or our teachers or our pastors or our religion or our ideas or even our own thought process, that it's really hard, you know, to be still sometimes and to hear his voice. So seeking daily to learn to recognize his voice is a discipline and a challenge and it's something that you and I have agreed to participate together so that I would be faithful. Now what you do is up to you, but for me, as long as we're doing emotionals and sharing, I'll be here doing them because you're watching me to make sure I do. When Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. And when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried, saying, Lord, save me. Matthew 14, 29 and 30. Peter had a little faith in the midst of his doubts, says Bunyan. And so with crying and coming, he was brought to Christ. But here you see that sight was a hindrance. The waves were none of his business when once he had started out. All Peter had any concern with was the pathway of light that came gleaming across the darkness from where Christ stood. If it was tenfold, Egypt beyond that, Peter had no call but to look and see. When the Lord shall call to you over the waters, and he says, Come, step forward gladly. Look not for a moment away from him. Keep focused on him. Not by measuring the ways can you prevail, not by gauging the wind will you grow strong. To scan the danger may be to fail and fall before it. To pause at the difficulties is to have them break upon your head. Lift up your eyes into the hills and go forward. There is no other way. In a time of circumstance when we look at our country and our nation and wonder whether or not we'll survive the inner turmoils that go on in all nations as they do and knowing that we live in the latter days as we are more than obvious and knowing that Jesus is coming soon it could be easy to see all these catastrophes and calamities that come upon us and not look forward to what Jesus is saying and how he is standing right in front of us bidding us to come in the morning are you hindered to come to Jesus? Do you not have a time where you choose to spend some moment of your day listening rather than seeking him? I think it's easy sometimes for religious people to be religious and then forget that it's relationship. And I think sometimes that it's easy for relationship people to forget that it needs to be a religion and dogmatically done. And I think somewhere in between we need to recognize that God does have seasons and times and structure to each 24-hour period and day and year and lifetime that we live in. But we can take those moments of time and make them eternal if we would just seek to look at Jesus daily. Not look at how bad we are, because <laughs> that's easy to do, or how good we are. Hmm, yeah, I know, I'm pretty sharp there. Or how righteous we are, or how holy we think we are, or how bad we think someone else is, or how dumb we think someone might be, or how perplexed we are because of the state of affairs we're in. None of those things God tells us to look at. None of them. He doesn't send you out to seek and to conquer something, but he says, look at Jesus 
and he'll tell you what to do. Storms are coming. What you do with them will be either look at them or you'll be able to walk on top of them. If you're looking at Jesus, not only will you walk on water, but you'll pass through them. And that's the key to success in what the Lord is saying to us. Don't be consumed with the circumstance, <laughs> but be focused on the solution. And that is Jesus.